block the steering box and using a puller extract the pitman arm to prevent damages on the sector shaft do not use the hammer tap a screwdriver with a hammer to unlock the adjuster lock nut remove the tree bolt attaching the cover to the housing pull and slide the cover to release it from the sector shaft unlock and uh, remove the steering shaft bearing adjuster carefully pull the steering shaft and the ball nut from the housing extract the sector shaft by pushing below remove the ball return gear clamp and the ball return gears from the ball nut take care not to damage the ball return gears remove all the balls from the ball nut the ball nut will now slide off the worm on the housing to remove the plug here tap a socket with a hammer like this to extract the worm shaft bearing race tap with a socket to the proper size Block the housing and uh, with a socket at the proper size, tap with a hammer to extract uh, the sector shaft bearing and the oil seal. Return the housing and do the same to extract the upper sector shaft bearing. On the worm shaft bearing adjuster, tap with a small screwdriver step carefully to extract the bearing race remove all the grease and clean all parts and now we can start the reassembly separate balls 
in two boxes and grease them. Put a lot of grease on the worm shaft. Then slide the ball nut on the worm shaft. Insert the ball guides into the holes in the ball nut. If necessary to seat them, tap them lightly with the wooden handle of a screwdriver. Check that the worm shaft can move freely. Insert half of the balls into the hole in the top of each ball guide. It may be necessary to rotate the shaft slightly one way then the other to distribute the balls. After insert all the balls, install the ball guide clamp and tighten the securing screws to the specific torque 18 to 42 feet pound. Check that the worm shaft rotates freely. To install more easily the raised bearing in the bearing adjuster, I placed the raised bearing in a freezer. and the bearing adjuster in the oven. The race fits easily into place. Then fit the bearing on the worm shaft. and put a lot of grease on the bearing. Place uh, the second race bearing inside the steering box. Tap a socket with a hammer to push the race in place. Place the second bearing on at the end of the worm shaft. Then put a lot of grease on the bearing. Put some oil resistant gasket on the housing.
then press the plug and tape with a socket and a hammer to fit the plug in place. Press a new sector shaft bearing in the housing to prevent damages do not use a hammer. Check that the sector shaft bearing is correctly fitted in the housing. Then place the oil seal. Press the second bearing through the top of the housing and check that the bearing is correctly fitted in the housing. Clamp the steering box housing and slide the warm shaft inside the steering box. The ball nut must be in the middle of the warm shaft. Apply some all resistant gasket on the warm shaft bearing adjuster. Install the steering shaft bearing adjuster. But don't lock it. Using a torque wrench on the steering shaft, preload the warm bearing to the specified value, 4 to 5 inch pound. Fit the adjuster lock nut. and lock the lock nut by tapping a screwdriver with a hammer. Put a lot of grease on the two sector shaft bearing. Install the sector shaft adjusting screw and shim and check the end clearance between the screw head and the end of the sector shaft. The end clearance must not exceed 0.002 inch. If necessary, add shims to reduce the end play. Start the adjusting screw in the housing cover. Install a new gasket in the housing cover, then install the sector shaft and cover to the housing. Make sure that the sector shaft is centered on the ball nut, and the ball nut centered on the warm shaft. Rotate the cover into contact with the housing.
and place the cover bolt. Loosen the adjusting screw to properly block the cover. Tighten the cover screws to 30-35 feet pound. 30-35 feet pound. Using a torque wrench on the steering shaft, adjust the sector shaft mesh load to the specified value 9 to 10 inch pound. Then fit the adjusting screw lock nut. Then tighten the lock nut to 30 35 feet pound. Fill the steering box with grease. Then apply some oil resistant gasket on the filler plug. Then place the filler plug on the housing. Tighten the filler plug. And now you are done.